Now I'm gonna jump in. This is a proper shower in the village, guys. This is how you do it. Okay. This is my shower for today. I don't know what about you, but this is mine. You know, it was my dream uh, to drink water from rain uh, when I was in Israel. But in Israel, I don't know, guys, if you know, you heard about it. It's actually illegal to collect rainwater. Ah, you have some goats inside here. Okay. So you. You are basically uh, take care of them? Yeah, I'm gonna feed them, uh, feed, I'm gonna feed them out now. The three things. Seeing Africa as your motherland. Okay. Um, always adv advocating and agitating for um, reparations for the wrong that was done to African people. And seeing the emperor, Haile Selassie, as the divine leader of the movement. Those are okay. three tenets that all Rastafari people agree on. Oh, this is a whole traditional way of making it so guys good morning to you we are here with bingy and we are making bingy is a rasta woman as you all can see <laughs> and we are making cacao that uh cacao drink right tea tea we call it a tea ah, everybody you call say. It tea here. everybody says hot chocolate but we say tea okay that's <laughs> yes. that's, that's yeah. a new thing for me because yeah. i used to really uh noted it as a cacao drink yes yeah. So we we'll just say amazing and this is like cacao from here from jamaica yes oh yeah all right because guys there is a lot of uh cacao plantation plantation here but actually well, i'm came from to here from mexico so in mexico it's very popular but right now bingy actually tells me that it's also popular here in jamaica but See, I have some water with some cinnamon. All right. A piece of cinnamon stick with leaf, and now I'm gonna put the um, cacao right. powder in there. That's that a great combination. So it's gonna boil for just a, okay. a little short time, and then I'm gonna add the coconut milk. Here I have the coconut yeah. milk. Okay, that looks good. And I also grated in a little nutmeg in there too okay. as well. Okay, what nutmeg? Nutmeg. Nutmeg, can you show me? Yeah. All right. Oh, and this is gives like a, another egg. taste, another flavor, another right? flavor, beautiful spice. So we put okay. three spices in. Can our I smell it, or tea. I won't get the smell okay, by you it? Just... Will. I have a broke one here. Mm. You smell that, and you smell the nutmeg. Ooh, really beautiful. good. Beautiful, beautiful. Nutmeg. And then this, this thing here. Okay. This we call the mace. Okay. It's called the mace. It comes off the nutmeg. As you can see, this one already has the mace on it. You see that? Oh, all right. When you get the nutmeg, okay. it comes out of a fruit, the hard shell. It has a hard shell that covers the, the nut itself. Okay. And then the shell is covered by this thing, and we call it the mace. So you use it also? Yeah. You put it in the tea as well. Ah, okay. You just throw it to the pot and... Yeah. Just like the cinnamon that. stick and yeah. you get the flavors out of it. Gives you the flavor. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Okay. Actually, it smells delicious. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you cannot go wrong with cacao. Cacao, it's <laughs> no, amazing. You can't, yeah, you right? Can. Right? Right? You yeah, can't. You know, you know what Not I like? At all. <laughs> you know what I like about cacao? I mean, cacao is very different, you know, from coffee, for example, because yes. coffee, what it usually does, it gives you like a very good, like a very uh, strong strike, like yeah. it hits you. Yeah. Cacao also makes you awake, but in a much gentle way. Yeah, true. I agree. You know, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives yeah, you like yeah, very, yeah. very like a very yeah. like slow um, way into it. You know, it doesn't like strike you. Wow, this is this the coffee is a blend that you were of, talking. This is a blend of um, Colombian and Jamaican. And a couple of other Caribbean islands coffee. Oh, a mix, a mixture is yeah, always so it's, it's a always blend. Good. It's a coffee blend. But you can this, see, guys, she has like a lot of uh, interesting uh, this spices. This is Ethiopian and... coffee. Wow, that's amazing. That's what I make you a cup of in mm, the morning. I'll wow. make sure you get a cup of this in the morning. Yeah, this is I mean, I mean, today we're going with the cacao. I stick yes, with the yes, cacao. Yeah. But thank you. <laughs> tomorrow, you but get tomorrow, the coffee, yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure, yeah, definitely. Because tomorrow, guys, it's amazing sure. because. Uh, when I just came here to Port Antonio, I actually told uh, Bingy yesterday that I felt a little bit of headache. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. I tried to figure it out why I feel a headache. And I remember that I didn't drink my coffee. You know, yeah, but this right. is like one of uh, the addictions that I had. I mean, all of you that may be new to my channel or not, 
uh, you know that I have addiction to sweets and to coffee. So after we're gonna eat the breakfast and uh, we're gonna drink some cacao, we're gonna do some nice uh, tour here in the garden. And uh, Bingy gonna show me exactly what she grows here by herself naturally, because you know Rasta people, they are they like to um, the thing with the organic food and you know all the healthy life and vegetarian food so definitely she has some surprises here in the garden that maybe she can show me you know and um yeah let's see it's gonna be interesting because after that we're also gonna collect some spring water, spring water. yeah exactly and uh this is the water actually that a lovely spring for spring water exactly because guys i think like today none of us maybe just a few people in jamaica is really drinking spring water like rain water just from the spring all of us drinking water from the tap that usually has inside chlorine and all other things that fluoride and you don't really know what this is the spring water thank you bingy Welcome. and yeah spring water mm. I mean the taste is so different you know it's so different because you don't have this um you know this taste of chlorine Chemicals. yeah this chemical taste that you get in the tap water and actually here you get what did you say uh bingy doesn't have none of these things that they think they have to put in the water to treat it for us to drink it yeah the water that i bring it's 8.2 alkalinity with zero parts per million in bacteria been drinking it since I was a baby. All the babies in the village where this water comes from drink the water. Nobody gets sick. The old woman drink it. My great grandmother drank it. I drank it. My grandmother drank it. My mom drinks it. That's amazing. My mom is 82 years old. And we're doing wonderful. And everybody that has come here from any country has come here and stayed with me, drink this water, and I've never had anyone had a problem drinking this water never not once i think like it's not just it makes you a problem it's by i think like it makes you heal yeah absolutely yeah because absolutely. of the frequency of this water because yes, of yes. this is a streaming true, water true. like and true. like yeah, yeah. And they are clean of all the chemicals yes and guys by the way to those of you who doesn't know who does who's not jamaican and see these uh fruits this, this is, is very, aki. yeah aki and Our what national is, fruit so our national fruit we cook it it's mainly done with saltfish but because i'm italian and i don't eat saltfish i'm going to cook the ackee all by itself with tomatoes onions scallion and garlic and spices and herbs and you know how to how to make like vegetarian veggie cheese out of it right yes and i make a ackee cheese as well which is tremendously beautiful this is very interesting because it's it has a lot of fat this fruit right it has natural oils. I natural say. oils, like yeah, fat. like avocados. Like avocado, exactly. Yeah. And um, this fruit, by the way, guys, if you don't, uh, if you eat it before uh, the fruit the itself, the pod is opened. It's dangerous. So, yeah. It you can have to make sure the right? pod is open fully before you can take the fruit out and use it. Never force the fruit open. Sometimes when you see a fruit on the tree, a part of it might be slightly opened. Sometimes people forces the entire fruit open by just that one little open. You shouldn't do that. It's open naturally on the tree. Or if the fruit falls off the tree and it's mature, but it's not open, you leave it on the ground and it opens by itself, you can use you it. You can use it as yes. well. Yeah. Yeah. Looks good, and I personally tasted it. I really love this uh, fruit, and but this fruit is very different from what you know because most fruits are sweet, and yeah. this one it has a more savory taste as opposed to sweet like most fruits are. It's very savory, and that's why it works well in live foods because of its savory taste. So you can make like a nice raw aki salad, or you make the the aki cheese. It's beautiful. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and uh, basically, guys, another thing. Bingy has a Airbnb here, so I'm staying at her place right now, and I'm gonna show you also the room that I'm staying in. Okay, so this is the room 
and if you want to have like an Rastafarian experience in Port Antonio, this is where I'm staying right now. So I definitely recommend you to come here. And this is the toilet and the bedroom. So of course I will leave the link in the description to the place so you can come here. I will show you a little bit outside also. We have some nice cats here, all of them very, very friendly and predictable. You know that a lot of cats are unpredictable. So those ones specifically predictable. Let me just, oh, it's, it's specifically right now it's locked, but basically it's a very nice place. And um, yeah, I really enjoy here, you know, Port Antonio is a very nice uh, natural and you get like, the nature here, it's like nowhere else in Jamaica. I mean, Jamaica in general is full of nature, but here it seems like because they have a lot of rain, so it's very, very greenish. And I like the pace here, you know, it's a very slow pace, very different from other places in Jamaica. But in general, Jamaica is amazing, no matter what, all of it. But here you get like a different vibe. So, we're just gonna eat something, guys. And this is my soursop that I wanna. I just put it in the fridge, so I wanted to get a little bit um, um, warm. Not warm, like the temperature to the room temperature, because it's pretty. It's pretty cold right now. I wanna eat it like less cold. Just gonna wait a little bit with this one, and then uh, we're gonna eat it. Look at this beautiful view from here. I mean, I don't know if you can capture what I capture, but like, so beautiful. So, see you in a bit, guys. I don't know what about you guys, but this is my breakfast. Aki, tomatoes, breadfruit, and we have avocado. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. This is Jamaican ital food, super delicious, like, vegetarian let's just try here like a bite mm, wow wow i mean so good let's try the breadfruit okay breadfruit so breadfruit guys very starchy reminds like a potato the way you do it on the gas or you roast it basically give it like a very special taste Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Super good. Hey, hello. How are you? Yeah. I'm great. Are you the mother of uh, Bingy? Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, she made an amazing, amazing meal for me. You like it? What? I love it. I love it. I love Ital food. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's try this um, avocado. And by the way, guys, this avocado is from her garden that we're gonna show you in a bit. We're gonna make some nice um, tour in the and this carry. No, 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 no. Okay. You go away from here. You don't go. Gonna touch my food. Okay. Enjoy your food. Thank you very much. Yes. Have an amazing day. Yes. yes. Oh, you coming in? Uh, uh, yes, I'm coming in. Ah. Okay, water. okay, water. Okay, good day. Okay, we'll just have one more bite here. Mm. And then, guys, we're just gonna go to the garden, show you all the trees in the garden, what is growing here. It's amazing. The trees that you see planted in this yard, actually, I planted them. Okay. This is gungo, pigeon right. peas, you see? By the third week of December, I'll be picking peas. Ah, so this is actually actual, actual yes. peas. Yes. Okay. This is gungu peas, or so. You know so it, how do you cook it? We can use it with rice and peas. You okay. can use it to make an idle stew. Nice. Yeah. All right. So you just basically put it this in the ground, and then you have the tree. 
Yes, like one of these inside one of the these pod. Beans? It's not quite ready yet. You feel how soft it is? It's and not as ready yet. I got you. But you see how it's blossomed? And how long it takes for the tree to get to this uh, size that it so already the, can generate so some fruits? these trees, I didn't plant any of these ones. After I planted the initial set of Gungu peace tree, they would fall out the pod and they would just grow themselves and ah, let them okay. come. So usually when, Naturally. You're, when you're planting these trees too, if you're planting them voluntarily, you have to plant them around April and by December, they're okay. always ready. So pigeon peas um, so come they're, into blue. So come they into, grow pretty fast. Yes, six okay. months, six, six months. seven months oh, and they're nice. ready and you get, um, yes. you get Google. Nice flowers also so yes. the bees can come. And, and the like, hummingbirds uh, love the um, Yeah, blossom. actually, yes, I saw one hummingbird today yeah. they love the morning. The, they love the gungu peas blossom. They come around anytime. It's like those trees, like I didn't plant that tree. You see all those trees over yeah. there? I cleared them because I'm going to get a lot of gungu. These are the wind that blow the gungu peas and they just start growing. Oh, That's how nice. gungu is. Once you grow gungu, see all them young trees? Yeah, so this is also gungu? Yeah, they're oh. all gungu, all of them. So it's just yeah, okay. um, like multiple yeah, gungu, reproduce gungu. All by over itself? there, there's gungu. Okay, trees. that's nice. That's There's another one right there. I planted that one. I definitely, I transplanted it. I just okay. pulled it up and put it there. Yes, be very careful here. Um, uh, yeah, cause because of the be rain, it can be slippery. Yes, especially these rocks Whoa. right here. Careful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, careful, careful. yeah, the rocks. The rocks are the problem more than the ground. This is a pepper tree that I transplanted right here. Okay, yes. that, this is a bell pepper? No, it's a um, scotch bun. Ah, it's a scotch bun. Yeah. Okay, it looks like a bell pepper in the you beginning. You see this? These, these, once you cut down property, they're going to come up. Somebody used to plant. It's called cocoa. It's cocoa plant. And what, what do you do with it? You can Underneath eat it? Underneath the ground. There's okay. a ground produce, you can boil it and put it in soups. Over there? Yes, the the you, root? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, you can it's boil like yam? It. Yeah, it's a, it, yeah, like a yam, but like it's quite a little different from a yam. Because yam a little bit look like that, no? no from the outside? No, the yam is different. It's yam, different? Yam, when you see the yam vine, yams are vines. Quite different. Okay. Very funny looking stem. Okay. The leaves are small. Smaller, way smaller than these, way but smaller. not very small. But um. They're, um, hmm. Maybe, maybe it's a different plant that I'm uh, confusing with yet. Yeah. Yes. So this one. We have another plant that's similar to this that look, they call it dashin. And, and we are standing underneath an avocado tree. Yes. Yeah. That uh, it actually has fruits. Yeah. See? Some fruits. Ah, yeah, we can see yeah, over yeah. here. Yeah. It was loaded. The yeah. entire tree was loaded. And this is something that you planted? No. When I came here, it was this short. Okay. A little tree struggling for life. Really? I started. How long ago? Five years ago. Five years ago. I started digging around the root. Okay. And I started putting a lot of compost around the root and I pay attention to it. I would weed it until I watch it grow till it got big until last year. So in five years it got that huge? Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. From I a didn't little know. tree. I didn't know. And, and you have some seeds here also? These are um, pear seeds. So you see like this pear seed, it's sprouted. You see how it's sprouted? Yeah, so okay. it's ready to be planted. All right. Yeah, I have quite a few of them. Here's another one right here. So you just let them be and they'll sprout. I'm going to take them to my property okay. and plant them in my property. I saw a few. Oh. I'm gonna oh, this is very slippery. I mean, yes, I think I'm going to go on the side. Oh, like that, yes. In order not to sleep. Can you see all the garbage that's down here? Ah, so the, you have avocado like, actually that fell from the tree yeah. and just arrives. That's to... how I pick them up. I just wait until they fall and okay. then I pick them up. Yeah. So you know that they usually go to that yeah. area because of yes. this uh, downhill. Yes, exactly. All right. Mm. So every day I come out, I wake up, I just come and watch. This is a basil. This is a basil? Yeah. Okay, this is a nice basil bush. Mm. Nice basil. Mm. Wow. You can see the peppers. Oh, this is the scotch bun. Yeah, yeah look at that, guys. The yellow scotch bun. A very um, spicy pepper. Very hot and spicy. Very hot and spicy, yes. And like Jamaicans. Some yellows. <laughs> and there's, a couple, there's a couple of reds in here too as well, but they're, they're yeah. they bloom beard off already. This is the one that you planted, right? Yeah, I planted all these. Okay. And and guys, also think about it like you just need to throw 
you know I your your garbage here. in a way what we call in the western world garbage yeah, so you compost. throw your compost here and trees just you know just start to grow from scratch yeah. so people used to throw it just to the garbage and it's like a I huge mistake you know found this, um, I mean, tomato tree. this one is a tomato i'm nurturing it so it can come yeah. bigger nice this little one. Yeah. tree i just found it in the ground and i just weed it around you see this yeah so this is called spirit weed i mean this. the soil here is amazing and the way that you nurture it yeah. also with yeah. uh with throwing the compost, the compost here yeah. This is called spirit weed. Why do you see it? In in Trinidad they call it shadow benny. It has some milk inside, no? No. It's the some replacement doesn't... for smell it. Uh, no. Okay. To smell it. It's wow. like cilantro. Whoa, it's very strong. I use scent. it in my guacamole in Ooh. place of cilantro. So I can eat it just like that yes, raw. Just like that. It's very good for you. It's good for mm. seizures. Wow. Actually. It's yeah. really good. Yeah, it's very oh. strong. And so mm, very strong, yeah. Very I strong really scent. I haven't planted anything down here. I throw seeds down here, so there's like a guinea tree. Okay. I'm gonna move all of them up and plant them um, on my property. There's aki trees, all different kinds of trees growing in. And here. this is the breadfruit. The big old breadfruit tree. Yeah, and we have here one that is actually rotten, rotten. and then yeah, it didn't, didn't fell down because usually they fell down yeah. of the tree, am, right? That means it's not. It was never. I'm fully mature. That's why it's taking so long. It's just drying out. It's not right. even ripening. It's just drying out. Yeah. Usually they fall off. They just fall off and you pick and them up. And smash. And smash. Yeah, so they open? Yeah, they usually. smash open because they don't fall off until they're ripened. You I know? get you. So yeah. when they're ripe, they're a little bit soft. They're very soft. And so. you can actually make, when they're ripen, you can use it to make a breadfruit punch, which is amazing. Oh, right. Yeah, the ripe breadfruit makes an amazing punch. Okay, yeah, like with know. coconut milk. Okay, I'm sure. I mean, like, guys, you saw the, the milk that she made for me, so everything she touches, she has a very interesting touch to the food. So mm. that's yeah, it's about you pick them from there, usually the, the breadfruits, like it's going like to when we pick them. Like, I can stay sometimes off my balcony Ooh. and reach with the bamboo. Okay. And we watch where they roll and go pick them up. Yeah, because I saw like the avocado is yeah, over there, so down, I yeah. like figure it out that is also going to be there. Like. And I have a nice planting on that um, planting tree that soon be ready to cut. Big okay. Bunch of planting. This is, by the way, it's non-GMO, right? All oh, this. Yeah. There's no um. No GMO in here. This place. I don't I do chemicals. I yeah. do everything natural. I don't do chemicals. My food, when I grow stuff, I get the biggest, nicest, most beautiful things. No chemicals. You know what's my fertilizer? Oh. Peeling skins, fruit skins. Like the avocado? Yes. Yes. Just throw it to the garden, yeah. to yeah. the garden again. Yes. And okay. the seeds, not all the seeds is going to germinate. See, I have a seed yeah. that's that sprouted right here. Yeah. This is the first one I'm going to take up. We See, need I to change the name garbage to garden, you know? Yes, exactly. Garbage to garden. I so mean, somebody would say this is garbage, but this is all compost right yeah. here. This is a lime tree. Oh, this is a lime tree. Yes, uh, I'm going to take But it looks up. orange from the inside, right? Here in Jamaica? Hmm? It looks orange. It's a lime. Uh, it's an orange That's lime. lime. This is a lime. Oh, one. it's like the yellow one. Yes, this is it. Ah, it's a yellow one. Okay, so you have your already... It's green, but then when it ripens, it turns yellow. So this is it. Because okay. It's quite a number of them here. You can see? These are lime trees. These oh, are all okay. lime trees. This. How long do you... Um, three years. Do you think? Three years and Most it's... Most standing fruit plants. If you plant a pear tree in three years, you're going to get your first crop. Like this tree did. Okay. It struggled the first year. That's why I didn't see fruit until the fourth year. But if it hadn't struggled... And it had grown freely up it would have been three years and you get fruit that's it plant a lime tree three years you see lime you plant fast star fruit tree three years you see um star fruit most standing fruit trees are going to give you fruit in three years a breadfruit tree three years Same yeah thing. yeah i mean i'm enjoying guys meanwhile from this uh, amazing basil mm. yeah i know something whoa these ants these terrible. ants yes wow terrible she just bite me like i didn't yeah. feel i didn't understand like she just <laughs> punched tree. my my skin and like stay there and she yeah. doesn't move also no. they're, they're like tight. they're holding really uh, tight in the skin this is like a fire ants by the way 
Do you call them or just? We call them fire ants. We just call them biting ants because they bite. Yeah. They're wow. Dark and it feels brown, like dark brown ants, and they really bite. Okay. Yeah. I feel like until now. It's... Anywhere there's a compost, you're gonna find those ants. Oh, so they eat. Feed on the compost. As I well. get you. Yeah. So this is why. Yeah. I think we a little bit disturbed her to eat. Yeah was very protective about tree. the compost this is a cherry tree when it's cherry bearing, and you get cherry blossom from here cherries for fruit ch wow. cherry fruit there. ah actually did we see it on the ground okay but this time when they're oh. here they're filled with worms yeah and this, this, um, all right so i haven't gotten any to, to make okay. juice or to eat. i like the, the, their shape you know yeah. it's not like the western shape no these it's are a little different bit... and they have a tangy taste to them okay they are usually sour or sweet tangy very tangy, which tangy? is kind of sour. Tangy La, is like okay, sour, yeah, I know yes. what you're talking about. Yeah. Like the June plum uh, te uh, yeah, taste? Yeah, okay, okay. That sort of tang. Yeah, yeah, okay. Like, yeah, sometimes wine has this kind of taste. Also. I'm trying to see if I could find one. Yeah, there I see, yeah. Okay. You can chew on it. Okay, this is interesting. Tasty. Mm. Wow, very interesting yeah. flavor to it. Yeah, exactly like June plum. June, uh, June plum. You see this plant? Mm -hmm. I can see the. Um, plant here? I I can you taste the. Plant? What is that? Eat the leaf. Eat the leaf. Okay. This is called wild callaloo. You can put this in your um, mm. salad. You can put it in your juice. Okay. And you can cook it like all the way we cook callaloo. So it's wild callaloo. It's also called wild hook. Because it has a slight hook at the end of the leaf. You see oh, how yeah. it hooks around a little at the end of the yeah, leaf? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The insects love this plant. It's a very nutritious I love it also. plant. Yes. It's really good. And you see this plant, right? This plant here is called Spanish needle or chamomile. Spanish needle. Or chamomile. I can eat it as Yes, well. oh yes. I put it in salads, in the green juice. Mm. and you wow. can cook it too i cook it sometimes they feed this to rabbits a lot okay and it blooms i don't see one with the yellow flower you see those little white flowers that's it yes yeah. this is the spanish needle too okay. it blooms this flower see them all over there with yeah, the flower? Yeah. they grow wild and it's very nutritious that's if good. you look up this plant online its medicinal properties is a on lot. the top of the top a top of the top yes okay mm -hmm. this is for example guys the a jackfruit that I just ate yesterday and just put it here in the garden. In I'm order gonna clear for him. all those gungush trees in a, in a couple of days. I'm gonna clear them out so I can free them up. Okay. I'm, I'm picking all of them. That's Because you can store them in the freezer. So when the ah, season that's is good. over, like okay. in April, because you we're gonna have gungu peas until April May. Okay. When the season is over, I'll still have gungu in the freezer. Perfect. To take me through the rest of the year. So guys, right now we are basically gonna go to the car and gonna um, collect. This is the jackfruit tree right here. This is the jackfruit tree. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I this tree. Yeah, That's they they get tree. really huge, right? Some. Oh my goodness! If you see some jackfruit trees, you'll be surprised. Huge. Huge. Trees. Yeah, I saw. I saw in Africa. I mean, you don't want them to get so huge either. Yeah. Because you want the fruit. Yeah. You know. It's gonna but like they uh, get, they get block all the sun to your house, basically tremendous. in a way. Yes. So, I mean, in some places it's very important because you need the shade. Yeah, but not those... all the, not, some jackfruit trees, they don't grow big. But you got some that's like huge with big Huge trunk, with and big... you can't even get the fruit. Exactly. You need it... to be able to get the fruit. And, and the, the, the um, connection to it, to the tree is very strong. So even very if it's strong. very big, it's and not you know going to fall, that right? you notice about jackfruit, what's one of the things you notice about jackfruit? The fruit will grow off the trunk of the tree okay not the branch, not the branch. It's so uh, it's a big fruit it's heavy i have noticed that most of the fruit goes off the trunk not like the, the light yeah, yeah of course it's a very smart fruit a very smart yeah. fruit yeah. look at the caddies here they are uh, actually breastfeeding but not from their mom this cat their mom is being killed by a dog here ah no she's not sorry her, their mom is just not right here is all the time goes i think one of her brothers uh been killed by a dog Oh, her baby's been... Oh, okay, okay. Now I know. Okay. I got confused, guys. The story is like that. These mother are not their mother. So, are not their biological mother. Her babies were killed by a dog. I think she just gave birth just to one of them. Or two. And they are 
ma their mother is a very adventurous mother, so she's going around all the time and she's not here. So basically what happened, just, this is their, her, uh, and, and another thing about this story, this is her sisters, okay? So they are brothers, so they are breastfeeding from her sister, and uh, this is a very interesting story, you know, because uh, she gives them their milk, they need the milk right now, and you know, this is nature at its best. And they are very friendly. At the beginning, they were a little bit afraid of me, but right now they got used to me. So it's all good. So right now, guys, what we are going to do, and I started to say it before, but we're gonna say it again. We're going to the river to collect some spring water because Bingy, she's drinking only spring water. She doesn't drink any other water. And we're talking about water that without any chemicals at all. So we're gonna go to the river, gonna collect the water, Gonna show you around, it's gonna be interesting. What is the name again of this place you said? Coolin Spring. Coolin Spring. There's a spring here on the roadside. It has been it was dried out, but since we had the heavy rains it came back. You soon see the spring, you'll come upon the spring in a short while. And this is the spring that we're gonna collect the water from? No. No. We're going further in. Okay. I used to collect water here. But it dries up only when we have heavy rains it comes back so i can't get water from it consistently i get you oh that's a beautiful place it is Yes, let's taste it. This this water I can uh, drink as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. The community drinks this water. Okay, so it just come naturally from the. Okay, let's see it, guys. Look at that. I mean, you can actually drink this water. Yeah. So people come to here actually. All the people in this to fill the water. All the time. Okay. To fill like buckets or the, or bottles. All the time. Yes. Okay. Let's let's just wash it up. What I grew up on. This water. Yeah. She, you see, she okay. grew up on this. All the people in the area drink this water. And you collect them as well. Mm -hmm. You collect them as well. I just used to wash my face when I come into Fort Bay. <laughs> Why don't you drink it then? Because I believe oh, that they are much better than. What we would do is boil it and drink it. But no, you don't have to boil it. This one, why you, why would it. you boil it, by the way? No, you don't have to boil it. Of all this stuff. Right? It don't have nothing to do with This is it. natural filter, this I think. natural okay. filter. You don't have well, to boil, boil it. it. Yeah, you don't have to boil it. No, 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 no. You think I like if you boil it, it takes some of the... Of some of, of the... Course, it kills the minerals. Good. It kills the minerals, okay. That's what I thought so. Have a good one. You too. Thanks. Yeah, I thought so. Nobody boils the spring water. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Nobody boils the spring water. Yeah. People around here don't boil the water. You know it's clean. Yeah, it looks very clean actually, and well, it tastes really good. You see the you know? taste? You. It's really good. Okay. When you taste that water, I want you to remember the taste of this water. Uh, because okay. When you taste this other spring water, it will be even better. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. You, you drink it at home. But yeah, it's drink it like enough. sitting there for a while, so yeah. now you're going to actually get water that's like... So how long yeah. basically water can just sit and be good for drinking, if you, it not can, spoiled? It can sit for a while, the water can sit for a while, but so, if sunlight gets it, you start seeing the green um, algae start forming in the bottom. So you want to keep them in a shady light, area? It has to be shaded. Okay, yes. that's good. Yeah, it's that's very good to know. important to shade the water. Okay. I notice any time they get left and sunlight touches them, the algae starts growing inside the water. Okay. But it doesn't do anything to the water. My mother says algae that grows in water is good for stomach ailments, ah, okay. especially in males. So it yeah. doesn't spoil the water? No, it doesn't spoil the water. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't spoil the water. 
interesting facts yeah. here. I'd say we have another 15 minutes to go. 15 minutes yeah. driving with this beautiful view. Yes. All right. Yeah. A lot of interesting trees around here, guys. And the way is beautifully greenish. Look at that. A lot of breadfruits. Look how is the view. Yeah, just open up. Yeah. That's amazing. A lot of banana plantations. Yes. Plantain. Plantains and bananas. And the sky is very beautiful today. We are lucky to have a good weather today because yeah. yesterday it was really rainy. And today, Sunday, we got, we got look at sun. that guys, we got some really, yeah, as, as the name, Sunday, we got the sun from the Sunday, exactly. Look at that. Ooh, wow. Wow, Jamaica. That's so beautiful. Wow. The Pearl of the Caribbean. Yeah, look at the, the mountains over here, like, I just want to dive into them. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about, amazing. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. So this road leads you to the district of Sif River, which is, you will get another part of the river I'd like us to go down okay. here, because it's really beautiful. We are going down, look at that, guys. So guys, basically we are in uh, the village, inside village life in Jamaica. Yeah, this is my aunt's house. This okay, is she's at home by the no, way? No, my aunt's passed away. Ah, okay. And my cousins, they, all of them live in Miami. So they have a young virgin that stays here and takes care of the house. But they come all the time. I get you, yeah, okay. Like so just someone, because street. I see there is a goat over there and a mm -hmm. dog actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So someone takes That's care of... That's my grandmother's grave right there. Ah, inside the house. In the yard. In the yard. That's all all the, right. In the country areas, as you bury your people on your property. Wow, I didn't yes, know that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This is okay. So, guys, we're just gonna take these uh, bottles. We're gonna go to the spring. We're gonna collect some water. I wish I could do it in my country. I tell you the truth. Mm. I mean. I really want all the time. I think, you know, it was my dream uh, to drink water from rain uh, when I was in Israel. But in Israel, I don't know guys, if you know, you heard about it, it's actually illegal to collect rainwater. Yes, illegal. I saw, I saw that, I just learned that recently, I was shocked. In Israel? Yes. That you know? Illegal. Okay. Yeah, it's illegal. Yeah, yeah. I was shocked. Yeah, it's like, um, I mean, the government actually wants us to drink water from their from the tap, yes. controlled by what they want yes. to put inside the water. Mm -hmm. And basically, I tell you the truth, guys, we don't know what they put in our water. And the only way to know is what we are doing right now. Collect the water from the source itself, from the rain. The best way to consume your food is to grow on your own food, but nobody wants to do that, you know? We live in, in the cities, most of us in buildings, so... Usually I have more things in the ground. This time of year though, you're preparing for the spring to grow things. So now I'm going to be setting seeds and stuff. Yeah. Like for tomatoes, okras, yeah. cucumbers and different things. Yeah, I mean, this is a village, you know? This is amazing. Uh, it uh, is also a farming a village. Yeah. A lot of farming is done here. People, a lot of people rely on farming as a way of life and for making money. But most people today, you know, they live in the cities. They don't have the, the um, even the option to do that. I know. You yeah. know, to grow their own food or to collect. The rainwater, they don't even think about it, you know. They just like automatically. And if the government is trying to make that illegal, then people are not even going to think about that. Yes. Yeah. Because then people conform to everything the government says. Exactly. The reason they get away with things of that nature is because nobody stands up and nobody goes up against them. And it's like, no, you can't tell us that we exactly. can't collect Exactly. It's rain. very simple. Who are you? You just need to say no, guys. Yeah. It's very simple. Yeah, like collectively too. Yeah, collectively. One person can change the world. I agree. But... We are, I believe we are on the path, you know, more and more people are waking up. People like to believe that these people are experts and everything and they really aren't because
because what they've done, as you've seen, is a very destructive order that they have. You are right. A very detrimental and destructive order that they, they operate under. You don't have to follow that. I don't follow all of that stuff. I just do the minimum of what they ask of me. The very minimum. Exactly. And everything else I do is um, I rely on myself. Because even the things that they claim that they're given to you, you could do without it. Uh, exactly. You understand? I'm building a property. The road is a parochial You don't road. need them for anything. The, the road should be maintained by the government. Look at the, the state of the road. All the people around here are paying taxes for their property. They charge taxes even for these country properties. But what do they do? They don't put in infrastructure that is needed, a retaining wall, fixing the road. You pay them and they don't do and anything they, and for you. they don't you. do anything they for you. They just charge, charge, charge. So as much as you can get away from paying to them, it's better for you. You're right. So what is that? This is the water? Yeah, that's it. Wow, that's so beautiful. And look at that house, guys. Just, you know, the house here. And ah, look at this dog. Let's see if he's a... Uh... It's so cute. Come on, come on. Hey, 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 he's so cutie. Oh, ch -ch -ch -ch, he's so cute. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She, it's a female. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's taste this water. So this water comes from the. It's from the spring. Ah, it's, got, it's from the spring. I see so it's connected see the to there. Pipes? Yeah, yeah. The pipes go all the way up. They run underneath the road and they go up to the spring. I can walk up there and show you. Okay. And they go way up, and they have major pipelines. I cannot come. believe that actually people have this water spring just inside their house. Okay. It's going through their house. Yeah, this runs right in the, look at the water crate. Just a second, just a second. Just put, oh, the bag in the car. Oh, okay, show me. The water crate. And Thank this you. is edible? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can put it in salads. Mm. So they eat a lot of herbs, guys, and it's good. Mmm, this is really good. Yeah, I know this. For regulating, um, it's like a rocket, rocket uh, leaves. Rocket? I mean, in Hebrew, you call it rocket leaves. Okay. But I think like um, it has a different uh, name in English. I don't remember the name. Like arugula. Arugula, yeah, exactly. Yeah, similar to arugula. Yeah, exactly, yeah. arugula, yeah. yeah. It's the same taste. It's a little bit of spicy. Guan guan. Guan What is his name? I don't know. My cousin just got What is guan guan? Hmm? What is guan guan? Guan guan? What you just told? Go. Go. Ah, guan guan. <laughs> go, go. Yeah. It's very clean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no... Uh, it looks really good. Yes. It looks like he's eating good. Yeah, he like is. somebody take care of him. It's a boy? Yes. His fur is really nice. It's a girl. It's a girl. Yeah, it's, it's a female, a yeah. yeah. Oh, go on, mama. Mm. Or is a boy? No, no, it's a female. It's a for sure. No, no, female. Oh, it's a female. Female, female. Yeah, it's a female. Yeah, it's a female. Him up, let me see on the <laughs> Yes, it is a It's a female, female yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So they just... Uh, Hello, how are you? How are you doing, Mama? That's up, that's up. <laughs> She's so good, this dog. Okay, so to bring you... Ah, you just take no, this... I'm just taking the take the pipe. Oh, nice. You know the... Okay. Oh, I'm going rinse all of them. The only thing I think that we need to change, you know... Is the plastic exactly. container. Exactly. You read my mind. I don't have... Like I mean, glass, glass it will be very heavy also to and carry. And glass will be hard to transport. Unless I lived in the yard, then I definitely would not. I would use my, um, um, I would get some clay controllers to hold my water. Clay is the best thing. Clay is water. the best. Or calabash. Calabash, okay. Yes. I don't know this uh, substance, calabash. I'll show you. I have, okay. This evening we'll eat dinner in calabashes. It's, ah, this is like the, um, I know, I know, I know. You know it's like a fruit yeah. that you very you take off hard a shell. And I cut them and clean them and form both. So it's like wood, it's like a coconut shell basically. Gives you that the, the same from effect. A coconut shell. Yeah, it's different, but the it's material of it. Like it's different, but it's yeah, it could be a comparison. Yeah, like yeah, just a comparison. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I just can get like you. We're gonna go to the water spring, like where it's uh, coming from, or 
basically no, gonna show, we're gonna walk a little bit up the road and i'll show you where it's really coming from you can okay take a look, uh, yeah. and then we can take a bath also inside you can take a bath right here right here okay it's let's do it hole, yeah yeah just gonna do it right now right okay here. okay guys let's do it just right here this looks amazing okay you just put the camera over here just start my This is my shower for today, guys. Nah, I'm gonna take another one, but definitely, okay. This is a shower that you actually can also, you know, drink the water. So, let's just... Uh, mm. This is amazing. Straight from nature, to your mouth. Mm. You can actually drink the water in Jamaica, straight from the river that comes inside here. Whoa, that's a lot of spiders here. And I think I already like uh, got on one of the spiders web over here. I hope the spider is not on my on my leg no it's not we have a lot of spiders web here so i think i'm not gonna make my way on the top of them okay we have a shady area here okay near the house so we're just gonna okay Oh, wow, this is so good. Wow, oh, oh, this is so good. Wow, Jamaica. Wow, oh, oh, so fresh, so good, guys. Oh. I wish you were here with me. Port Antonio, guys, this is Port Antonio. Portman, it's the parish. Look at that. I mean, what do you need more in life? You just see the water inside your house, and those water are not going through anywhere that people throw some garbage or some things like that. So this is the reason why they are so clean and you are able to drink them actually because some of the rivers here people actually throw some garbage take a shower with soap inside of them so this water those those water that are like i told you right now they are not drinkable because of that not this one this one 100 good to drink oh that was so good ah. Whew. Village life in Jamaica. What do you need more than that? Okay, now I need to, to see this spider web. Okay. Let's do it here. How are you, man? Okay, we have some guests here. Uh, how are you? Them water are cold and fresh. Enough. Amazing, man. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. This is my grand nephew's dad. That's John T. How are you? Child. And this is your son? No, this is my little friend. Oh, your little friend. Yeah. So he's helping you with the farming? Farming, yeah. With farming. the farming? What, what kind of farming do you do, Boat. man? I don't know. Ah, here? Yeah. In this. Uh... I read it back. Okay. But we well, have a pen up the, up the road. Okay. What, what do you have there? Like, what, what kind of uh, things that you. 
farm over there, like in this backyard specifically? No, we have a farm on the hill. We're ah, the, on the hill. hill. Okay, yeah. okay. We have a farm on the hill. What kind of crops? Yeah, we do planting and yam and dashing that's and That's good, yam, okay, okay, yeah. man, that's good. Yeah, okay. It's far away from here? Or yeah, it's a good walk. Okay, a good walk. Yeah. So you go, you when you get there, you're already warm, like ready for warm work. Up. Yeah. <laughs> like just all your just muscles are... Yeah, <laughs> that's nice, you're yeah. Well, ready for work. Yeah, but you don't take care of this uh, puppy, no? It's yeah. not, you take care of him? No, you stay with the guy. Janti and our okay. my cousin, is, they're very good friends. This is one of my cousin's best friends. Okay. Yeah. Tony. Got you. Yeah. Ah, village life in Jamaica is amazing, man. Yeah, nice. Yeah, really Janty nice. Janti is my family. You know me and your family. You know that. That's beautiful. <laughs> I just see, guys, what is going on behind, you know? I just want to explore a little bit. This puppy is going on. <laughs> So this is the grave of her, the owner of the house, Hindi. This, this puppy is so cute. Let's see the goat if she's... Uh, no, she's afraid. Where are you going? Ah, you have some goats inside here. Okay. So you, you are basically uh, take care of them? Yeah, I'm gonna feed, uh, feed them out now. All right, man. Go outside. Go on. Go. Okay. That is amazing. Yeah. So you now take all of them out yeah. to feed? Yeah. Okay, so how many times do you do this in, uh, in a day or in a week? <laughs> yeah, morning, morning time in the evening. Morning time usually? Yeah. Okay. I mean, give them a morning feed and give them an evening feed. Ah, okay. So twice a day. Yeah. Okay. That looks really good. Yeah. They look really good. Go, go. Yeah. Go on. They can charge. Huh? They can charge on you sometimes. Like try to hit you with the no. with no. the head. No. It's very quiet, quiet and peaceful, man. Okay. Because I saw you and know, the dog is very interested in you. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So what do you do? Like you usually uh, use them for meat or for breast or for the milk? We just raise them and it's just like business. Okay. It's like business. So you but sell them? Yeah, we have a certain amount to sell some and then if you bring back the pack again. When they get too much, you sell them some. You sell them. And start back again. And you also you also use the milk? No, the goat milk? Just use them by like this business. Just just grow them, sell them. Yeah. That's it, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm, this one looks like uh, he's really interested in hair. Let's see the horns. They are pretty like. Okay, wow. This is. Look at the horns, guys. She doesn't really love it. I came to realize that it's pretty um, difficult to touch goats. Like uh, goats are pretty um, shy animal yeah. and very scared most of the time. I think this guy is very horny. Yeah. He wants to get her. Yes. <laughs> Maybe some of them are ready for. Um... Come. Okay. So where do you usually uh, feed here from the territory here? Yeah. Just the grass here? Yeah. Okay. I'm you... making a pen enough for them you know, to tell everybody in the pen. But you don't finish, finish as well. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I have like a day, a day or two leave to finish one of the pen. So you, you also sometimes take them out of here? Yeah. Okay. When when it's not So when I finish the pen, they're not going to be here anymore. They're going to be at the pen. What do you mean pen? Ah, like special like structure for them? Fence. Okay. Yeah, I got ah. a big fence, fence set up. I build a house for them. So just leave there, it's gonna be the free. Gotcha, man. So when I already had us bring food for them. Okay. And water, and they're good. Okay. Yeah, that's nice, man. But you know, finish at it. We're, so just, we're just coming from there. How long it's gonna take you to finish this? Um, like two more days. Ah, okay. We're almost finished. Ah, okay. You're working really fast. Yeah. Okay, man. It's very funny to see the dog. You know, he's trying to play with them. But they are not like, uh, they are also interested in him a little bit. Uh, there are a lot of goats out there. Yeah. The back. 
Yeah. Janti, Janti got a lot of goats. Goats are very um, good business, very good business. But usually here in Jamaica, they use them for meat or for milk? For meat mainly. Mainly. Yeah. Because the, the goat milk is pretty, it's, it's like a best. medicine. It's, it's the, the best. best yes. Of the animal milks, it exactly. would be the best. Yeah. And it also makes sense by the size of them. You know, cow yeah. are so big, like, and, and we are so too. small. And how they eat too as well. And how the they goats. feed, okay. How they feed, yeah. Okay, so, like if yeah. they feed on night. Goats are feeding on just vegetation. Ah, uh, yeah. You notice you tie them in the back because there's no food back there. For because them. the industrialized in the Western world, and the, I and believe. And beef is very industrialized, that's the problem. Beef, but yes. Goats aren't. Goats, but I believe like in the industrialized world, you know, in the Western world, they also like uh, um, get like um, synthetic food. Yes, they do. So here they, they, and in Africa, so it's a totally have different. Small amounts of cows too. You bring them out and they eat grass. The cows are eating grass. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So they resist to you all the time like that? <laughs> yes, I see that. Or oh, they wait for all the group, maybe. No? Yeah. They're like sheep. Mm -hmm. They are like sheep in a way. If one of them goes, all of them after. Yeah. 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 Same way. Basically, like human right, like humans right now. Yeah. <laughs> How much do you have now, Danny? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't say that. Yeah, thirteen. Thirteen now. Then we run. You know, run. Yeah, we have two run in the box. They are pretty stubborn. Yeah. Very stubborn. Guan Guan. Step by step, I'm learning Patwa, guys. Okay, goats are gone. So I want to show you guys. This place, it's actually in the backyard of the place that we are just been to. Look at that waterfall here, a small one. Ah, you just picked up. Oh, nice. How did you get to? Ah, okay. I fell down, so I just tore it off. All There's right. another swimming hole down there too. It's beautiful down there. Okay, let's see. Wow. All my years coming to this property, I think when I was a child, I used to come around here. I haven't been around here in years, they just shut it down. Tell me, I have a very interesting question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you um, born a Rasta man or you Rasta become man. a Rasta man? Like, you... You have a lot of Rasta babies on the island and all over the world. That means children who were born exclusively from Rasta parents. Okay. Then you have people like myself who wasn't born from Rasta parents, but I... Um, Sight Rasta, that's the word we'll use, is Sight Rasta, embraced Rastafari culture from I was like 15 years old. Since you were 15 years old, yes. yeah. you you start to embrace the, the life of Rasta? Yes. And the idol, idol lifestyle also? For 27 years going now, I've okay. taken I've, uh, the whole idol life, eating idol and everything. Yeah, okay. I've been doing this now, this part of it for 27 years. Okay. Yeah. So, so basically you said like, you can become one and you can born to yeah, a parents yeah, you, yeah. and then you adopt this lifestyle in a way. Yes. But okay. I think also the people that um, become Rasta okay. is like you're born with a certain way about you. Okay. As opposed to someone who would say embrace religion. I get you. You're just born with that way because I know from I was young, I rejected religion from I was around seven years old. So there was something else that mm. I didn't have a name for but okay. as I got older I understood what it was. What do you think makes you a Rasta? Hmm? What do you think makes you a Rasta? Well there are some simple tenets of Rastafari that is embraced throughout Rastafari culture throughout the world and it is three things. Seeing Africa as your motherland. Okay. Um, always adv advocating and agitating for um, reparations for the wrong that was done to African people and Seeing the Emperor Haile Selassie as the divine leader of the movement. Those are okay. three tenets that all Rastafari people agree on. To certain levels, Rastafari people will see His Majesty in different lights. Like some Rastafari see His Majesty as a replacement for Jesus Christ. Okay. Or possibly a replacement for Allah. Okay. Or the Messiah, as Judaism yeah. says. So, 
Rastafari is not a religion. No matter how many people say that, it's not a religion, it's a spiritual way of life. Okay. Which is more in keeping with those old ancient spiritual systems and it has an African spiritual foundation because the continent of Africa was not a religious continent. Before the colonizer invader came, the people had their spiritual systems, whether it was the Yoruba practice, the Kemetic way of life, and several other practices, like when you look in Azania, they have several spiritual systems there. I just had a brother from Azania, he was explaining a lot of things to me yeah. about there. And all throughout the continent, in every place, and I'm talking even the places today that are practicing Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. Judaism actually has its origins in Ethiopia. I know, I it know that. It's over 3,000 years old. I know that, yeah. You understand? This yeah. Beta Israel is actually found in Ethiopia and not in Israel. Israel is a state that was contrived in 1948. I know. So it's, um, Ethiopia is the house of Israel. When you look at Ali Selassie, one of the titles he got when he became emperor in 1930 was King of Israel. So yeah. how does one I see a lot of Israel yes. on Rastafarian Absolutely. places. Israel, Hebrew, uh, yeah. Star of David, that is not really yes. Star of David, but uh, yeah. We wow. call it, we, we, we call it the, um, I call it the um, interlaced triangles. Okay. It represents something in nature, which is the For six sure. point star. You see that in the snowflake. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. in a lot of um, like geometric patterns that are existent. The Merkaba. Uh, it's existent in the earth. Uh, so it is before any organized religion. I agree. It's just uh, religion are taking things from nature and using them as iconography for their religion. That's all. That's all. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Very interesting explanation. Spirituality is the key to our existence. It has to be. You know why? 100%. You know why it has to be the key to our, your existence? Because the word spirit means breath. When you die and they say the spirit leave the body, people are looking for some shrouded, mysterious looking thing. It's the breath. That's what happens when you die. Your breath leaves your body. Your spirit breathes through the nostril and leaves you. That's why you take I a wish last gas. Very soon all religious will abolish you know yes because and they are problematic we will have, for humanity we will have the only one religious the religious of love yes of peace of unity exactly no wow <laughs> whoa you could go in there yo you could walk in there okay it will not be slippery right no just take your time and step down you got a the camera for you? Yes, I will. Okay, guys. Second dive. <laughs> yeah. Go on in. Good water. <laughs> got it. Wow. What a, this is a drinkable water as well, yes, right? Yes. Absolutely. Wow. Here. They're harmless, don't worry. Wow. 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 You can tap on the back of the of the camera with your finger? Okay. I'm seeing, yeah. Wow. That was so good. <laughs> that is amazing. Wow. I mean, Welcome to Portland. Not like... Welcome to Portland and all her lush splendor. That was even better than the first one. I mean, yes, like, yes, 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 wow. yes, yes. <laughs> Small waterfalls here, all around here, wow. Yeah. It's amazing, guys. Nature of Jamaica. Say no more. <laughs>
Beautiful. And I see like a lot of coconuts uh, yeah. on the ground here. Yeah. yeah. Actually, uh, I have a friend in Africa that, uh, you know, they have a very good soil over there as well. Yeah. And he tried to like... Uh, sea water. To it's sprout, to yeah. bring like a coconut tree over there. Soil that is near to water, rivers, springs, best soil. Yes, for sure. This is where you call river silt because when the river is overflowing, it will come in yeah. these areas, right? You plant anything, just like how the bananas and survive. The, just, yeah. Because bananas can survive in flooding areas and coconut trees. They yeah. won't. It's wind that really blows them down and the water has to be moving real swift. To yeah, he has, he has like everything, you know, he has like a river like here and he has like a very good soil, you know, in Kenya. Yeah. But uh, the, the coconut didn't survive there. He tried to put a coco uh, like a coconut tree and it didn't survive. Was he in a higher area? I don't high. know really. No, it's, it's not a high area. No. Is he there to the beach? No, there is no beach. Um, coconuts, you see how Jamaica is small? Yeah. Coconuts can in survive in the interior because they're not that far from the coastline. This is the reason. This is so the you reason. need this. What, what do you need yeah. basically for the coconut to grow? Like the coastline. salt water? Coastline. coastline. Yes, you need coastline. It's very interesting. When Why? you go to the Blue Mountains in Jamaica, yeah? no coconuts. No coconuts. We're too far away from the coast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But but you need you know what they need from the coastline or you don't really it's like something, there's something with coconuts and the ocean. Okay. Yeah. yeah because if you look around where coconuts are in the world, usually they are on the beach. Right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 you are right. right. Also in Thailand, everywhere I go, yeah. yeah. Or close to the beach. Or close to the beach, okay. Yes. Yes. So you need some like some kind of proximity. Yeah, close proximity, proximity, exactly. Close yeah, proximity. A, a number, I forgot like in mileage or meters that you, 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 you be to the, 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 the coastline, your coconut will um be fine, you know? I get you. Look at this source of water as well guys. I mean it's all around here. This house is just surrounded by Water. by water ah this is where actually we came from so yeah I just got confused so you already saw that basically wow this is a beautiful place every year in wow. August they have a, 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 a thing going on right here it's okay. called wet wet so that's why you see wet wet are painted yeah, yeah it's a the... big party that takes place here in august okay so, and they call it wet wet like yeah. a reggae tater yes so this is like a reggae party that uh, yes. takes place here yeah oh that's nice in august and it's sort of like a back to school program as well okay there's a gentleman in the area that does it and he gives back to the community by doing it every oh, year all right that's amazing yes, okay. So these water are also drinkable? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You in here and I'm thirsty. I'm gonna drink it. Yeah. I've been drinking it since I was a child. It's never this one. Yeah, it's never made me sick. Okay. Yeah. The bridge is amazing here, like everything is wow. The kids, when the kids are here, they be jumping off the bridge. Ah they're jumping off the bridge. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Having themselves a jolly good old time. It's pretty nice and deep today. When they're having the party, they put like sand baths all around. Okay. Because in the summertime, when they keep it, the water is lower. Because it's all right. dry. We don't get as much rain. So they put the sand baths and make but it I, come But I have to tell you that the water is pretty clean to, uh, like, to the fact that there was very rainy last night, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. I thought it would be much um, Darker? Yeah. blurry. No, it's not. No, it's pretty. You can actually see the bottom mm -hmm. without a problem. Swim? I'm gonna go I mean, I mean, I want to go for a swim, but I don't have another, uh, so I don't want to get oh, make your, wet. Um, yes. Uh, oh, you know what? I will go back to the car. I will take the the old one. Yes. Mm -hmm. And let's let's do it, guys. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> black soap. Okay, yeah. look at that, guys. We have your cacao. black soap. Wow, it looks amazing. Yeah. Wow, I yeah. want to try it. So it's basically a yeah, natural, natural it. soap. Natural soap. But yeah. So you can eat it also. <laughs> no, no, you I won't do that. So, but but, but uh, it's made from cacao. They have another one that's brown. It's made okay. from plantain skins. From plantain skins? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So just 
Wow. You have to take off a piece of it and just soak up your body with it. Okay. Let's just put the camera here, guys. Just put it on the stand. All right. Let's try cacao soap for the first time. Okay. Definitely smells very natural. Smells like, wow, there's a lot of soap. Okay. Okay, let's take a little bit more. Did my le do my legs a little bit. Then I'm gonna jump in. This is a proper shower in the village, guys. This is how you do it. Okay. So this is my shower for today. I don't know what about you, but this is mine. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. Woo. So good. Water is nice. <laughs> Wow. Amazing. Oh, it's okay, you can leave it like that. I just want to get nice little angles. Oh, it's okay, you can leave it over there. Just where it was. Yeah. yeah it's perfect. Cool. Oh, that was beautiful. So guys, I think after this beautiful visit here in this amazing village in Portland <laughs> just gonna finish this video right here right now so if you like this video give it a like subscribe share it with someone that you think may like it and of course I'll see you on the next one it's supposed to be a very interesting chapter the next one as well with uh, I will leave it as a secret guys just gonna see uh, but it's for sure gonna be with uh, Bingy. Mm -hmm. So, bye bye. Ciao.